A culvert is a conventional of relatively short length designed to pass water through an embankment. Traditionally, the optimal barrel size is the smallest barrel size allowing for inlet control operation at design discharge for the maximum acceptable afflux, that is, for a free surface flow in the barrel. In culvert design, inlet control means that the barrel flow is hydraulically controlled from upstream. Outlet control corresponds to the barrel flow condition being controlled from downstream or by the tailwater condition. For high tailwater conditions, that is high tailwater depth on very flat flood plain, physical considerations suggest that outlet control or pipe fuel may be hydraulically more efficient. Why? Because with inlet control, the outflow will induce a hydraulic jump downstream of or at the downstream end of the barrel with large associated energy losses and large afflux. This movie presents a physical model at the University of Queensland of a standard box culvert operating with outlet control, not the pipe full barrel flow, on the relatively small head difference, barely 30 mm, between the tailwater and headwater levels. The hydraulic design of such a culvert is based upon basic outlet control calculations, namely the energy losses, and the continuity equation, shown here for a multi-cell pipe culvert or box culvert with an identical cell of internal cross-section area. In the energy equation, the first term is the entrant loss with an entrance loss coefficient roughly about 0.5. The second term is the friction losses or regular losses. And the third term are the exit losses with an exit load coefficient roughly about 1. The regular losses in the barrel are proportional to the Darcy Vesbach friction factor, F, which is a function of the Reynolds number on relative roughness height, with dh, the equivalent pipe diameter or hydraulic diameter. The Darcy Vesbach friction factor may be determined graphically, for example from the Moody diagram as shown here, or from the Colbrook-White formula for turbulent flow. The streamlining of the inlet and outlet may reduce entrance and exit losses, basically by lowering the entrance and exit loss coefficients. The hydraulic design of culverts is a seminal application of the basic principle of fluid mechanics on hydraulics that are discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same playlist. Finally, the design of a culvert that is intended to be constructed would require the certification of a professional civil engineer.